Remember when I said this? Lately I'm doing too many gear videos and I want to go out again and do more experience videos. Well, we made some progress here because I'm going to share my experience today, but it's going to be my experience of acquiring new gear. I guess that still counts. You know, Japanese people don't express their, you know, emotions and yeah. feelings. <laughs> yes, man. To be more precise, we're going to a Yodobashi camera. It's a big camera store here in Japan and it's kind of a tradition of mine. Every time I'm in Japan, I have to go to that store at least once, even if I don't have anything to buy. But they often have things that I can't get in Germany and the price is sometimes, not always, um, better than in Germany as well. But today I actually know exactly what I'm going to get and most of them are things that will hopefully improve the quality of my videos. Um, but I might also pick up something that I don't really need, like soft shutter release buttons and all of that stuff. So yeah, we will do that. And then once we are back, I'm going to show you what I've bought and show you some test footage and all of that good stuff. Let's go. Yo, I just found the spot where I took my uh, butterfly girl photo. Do you see this store here? And maybe you recognize the butterflies. This is where I took my uh, butterfly girl photo. Oh, yeah, right. All right, so here it is, Yodobash camera. So I think this is the YouTube corner for cool vloggers like me. So I've just been told that the lens I want to buy is not available, so I have to wait until it's available. But I might buy something else. Okay, we are done shopping and I definitely bought more than I wanted. But do I have regrets? Maybe. <laughs> uh, tomorrow I will show you what I've bought, but now I have to go home. Okay, we are back from shopping and actually a week passed since I went to Yodobashi uh, camera so there won't be an unboxing, very sorry for that. But I'm still going to talk about what I've bought and the first thing I bought, uh, you're actually listening to it, is a new microphone and I really wanted to upgrade my audio because I wasn't too happy with my shotgun microphone. It sounds okay but um, basically I was looking for more immersiveness in my videos and this microphone is actually stereo. So you should be able to hear me on the left side now. If you're using headphones right now or speakers, you should be able to hear me on the left or the right side. Let me actually show you the mic. So here it is. This is the Sennheiser MKE 440. And as you can see, it has a very odd and funny looking shape. But there are actually two directional shotgun microphones in here. So you get the same quality as a usual shotgun microphone, which is good for like close-ups, for like vlogging or interviews. But they're both pointing outwards, so you're able to capture some stereo and it's very nice for creating um, the feeling of you being in the shot. Like I filmed some atmosphere in the city and it's, it sounds so nice. You know, because some people will uh, say, like in the comments, like, uh, yeah, photos not so good. And I'm like, and I'm like, well, you know, like, check out my Instagram. And I want to write that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> check my Instagram. Was, yeah, these photos are kind of shit, but I mean, I got, I got better photos. You're like, oh. <laughs> you yeah, know? yeah. I mean, no, no sane person would, you know, post twenty photographs. Of what they took in a vid YouTube video, yeah, right, yeah. On, in on Instagram. Yeah. Uh -huh. I just made you my bonus content, bitch. Oh. <laughs> 
Say like hi to my, say hi to my pay, paying channel members. <laughs> oh, cool. They just paid for your chat. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure you're going to notice the difference in my future videos. So yeah, I'm very glad I invested in this microphone. It wasn't that cheap. I think like a 350 bucks or so. But audio is so important, even more important than video, because you can have crappy video, but good audio, and the audience will still watch your video. But if you have crappy audio, but very nice looking video, they might not be able to handle it. So, And you're listening to my previous microphone, which is the Aperture Deity V-Mic 3. And it's okay, it sounds good. I think it sounds good for the price. It's like a hundred um, euro or dollars. And it's, it's a nice microphone, it's very directional. I don't like that it's mono and it, I don't like how... Uh, it doesn't sound as broad, as wide. It's, I feel like it sounds a little thin. And for some voices it does work very well, but for my voice, which I think is a little monotone, um, I like having the higher frequencies of this microphone. So yeah, you can be the judge. How do you like the audio coming from this microphone? compared to this one. I'm going to switch them back so you can uh, listen to the rest of the video um, using the Sennheiser. So in the beginning I told you that I wanted to update a lens that I already own and I bought the lens but unfortunately I have to send it back or I want to send it back because I'm not quite happy with it and it has some flaws. The lens I'm talking about is my uh, trusty Voigtlander 35 F2 Ultron. I really love this lens. I think this is the best option for 35 millimeter lenses for the Leica M mount. It's really really sharp and it's very small if you take off the hood and the lens cap. See this is how big it is. It's, it's very small. It's my smallest lens and I love it for that. So anyway this is the lens I wanted to update and I wanted to update this lens because I'm not quite a fan of this focusing knob. I much prefer the regular focus tab you see on Leica lenses because then it's easier to build muscle memory for the distances. And then two weeks ago Voigtlander actually released a new version of this lens that has the same optics but they added uh, a proper focusing tab which is all I wanted to make this lens perfect. And here it is, I actually bought it. Um, this is the Type 2, the version 2 of this lens. And I'm not going to unpack it but I shot some b-roll um, with this lens so I'm going to show it here. But after a few test shots using this lens, I found out that the lens isn't properly uh, calibrated. And this is probably like a quality control issue. So I don't think every lens won't be calibrated. But the other thing that really annoyed me was they made the focusing ring more stiff. It's not as smooth and um, light as my old uh, Ultron. That's why I'm going to send this lens back and I actually decided that I'm going to stick with the version 1 and I will just buy uh, a 3D printed uh, focus tab which you can buy online uh, on Etsy. There's a guy who's selling them and yeah, I will try it out and I think this will make this lens uh, perfect, perfect for me. And I also now prefer the look of the Mark 1. I. I think this looks more classy and just nicer than the simple plain uh, Mark 2 version. Next piece of equipment I bought which is just an accessory uh, is another soft shutter release button. And this is actually one of two I bought. The other one is already on my camera. And this definitely belongs to the nice to have but not must have category. So I already had a silver soft shutter button on my uh, Leica M262, but it was very cheap looking and this one looks a little bit better. And I also bought this black one, which is very big and it covers the whole on and off switch which is kind of nice, but it, this looks very plasticky, so I don't like it anymore. So now I spend 10 bucks for nothing, but I might give this to my friend Alex if you're watching this. I probably gave it to you. Yes, you did. Oh, it fits perfectly. Yeah? Wow, it's so snug and tight. <laughs> it's not gonna come off. That's what she said. Yeah, accessories. It never stops. Are you still with me? Should I talk more about gear? Um, very sorry, guys, that I talk about gear so much lately. Um, the thing is, you know, Let's do some real talk here because since I've arrived here in Japan, I felt a little uninspired, to be honest, to make videos. And lately I feel like, uh, even in Germany, I feel like I have a curse on me because it's getting harder and harder to create videos. Like it's, it, I don't know, it just is harder lately to do videos and uh, maybe it doesn't come off uh, in my videos, but maybe that's why I'm doing gear videos because it's just easy to come up with a gear related topic and uh, not something else. And I'm really struggling at the moment to find good video ideas and 
I'm actually a little frustrated with how my channel is going, especially since I started to take it more seriously and take the algorithm more seriously. And I feel like it doesn't really matter at this point. I think I should just do whatever I want. So maybe I should just do that. To be honest, I'm not really sure if this video is going to be on my channel. It does feel a little meaningless. <laughs> But I'm going to continue because I don't have any other idea. So the next thing I bought <laughs> is this year. <laughs> now, before I talk about it, let me give you a little backstory. So what happened when I came to Japan is my laptop suddenly died. Like there was a huge Windows update coming and I didn't want to update uh, my whole system because I know it can be risky, but somehow my laptop did the update anyways. And then after that, suddenly my screen uh, turned black and nothing worked. Long story short, uh, if I would be in Germany right now, um, they would just replace the whole laptop. But in Japan, they decided to fix it. And we spent 15 hours in total, combining like two or three hour phone calls and then two visits from the technician. And they replaced my motherboard twice. They replaced my whole screen. They wiped out my whole hard drive, which sucked. But fortunately I had backups of my photos, but still it was very annoying having to do that. So because of that, um, I lost like almost two weeks of productivity, of working. So I was freaking out a little bit and, and asked some of you guys what I should do. And some of you suggested, why not just get an iPad and edit on LumaFusion or Premiere Rush? Um, and I heard that editing on a laptop is possible, but I wasn't sure if it's going to be fun and efficient. Uh, but that's actually what I did. So I have the iPad Pro now and the M1 chip is not just in the Mac, it's now in iPad Pro. It's something I never really wanted to buy and it's something that I didn't know I need until I really needed it. And I did use the iPad to edit one of my videos on my channel. It's the Adobe Super Resolution feature video, which didn't really do well, but I, think, I don't think it's the iPad's fault. And it was good, it was a nice experience and it's definitely mind blowing that I can edit while sitting in the train, which I did. and. Yeah, it's been a great experience actually and the rendering time is fast. The only thing that holds me back of using the iPad for all my videos is just that all my assets and animations, I can use them here. And the workflow is just not as efficient, but I've been editing my uh, channel member vlogs uh, on the iPad, which is a lot of fun. And I've been using the iPad to edit my photos using Lightroom and it's, it's actually very nice. It's much nicer than editing photos on the laptop or computer, so... Um, yeah, I'm happy that I got it, but I kind of feel bad of going to Apple again because I, I swore that I will never give, give them my money again, but here we are. I don't know, maybe in the future I will do like an iPad workflow video. I don't know if that is interesting for you guys. I'm still figuring out the best workflow. Um, yeah, definitely lost a lot of money last week. <laughs> So the camera I was using to film this video, which is the X-E4, um, just overheated. I can't use it anymore, so I have to switch to my X-H1. But I was at the end anyway, so I'm going to end it here. Uh, so thank you for watching and yeah, another gear video. <laughs> uh, I definitely have a few experience videos uh, coming up. Uh, especially uh, with my friends um, Alex and Ulysses, so stay tuned for that. And uh, again, if you want to see um, more updates from Japan, some day in the life vlogs, uh, I'm posting them for my channel members, like little GoPro vlogs. So yeah, check it out if you want to see that. And uh, I'll see you in the next video very soon.